Right, you've all read the title of this video for this evening and I thought it was the perfect day than not to finally make the how to authenticate guide for the bread reimagined Air Jordan 4s. And today is a leap year. <laughs> it's February 29th, this day won't exist until four years later so this video technically won't exist until quite a few years on but kind of weird to record on a leap year but it's what? 9 p.m. right now here in the UK. I've got an apple crumble baking downstairs and I thought I would finally make this video to help all of you out there that want to self-authenticate your pairs of the Bread Reimagine Air Jordan 4s that you would have got from the aftermarket. Now, I am in the hot seat <laughs> for this video. I hope everything I say is a fact and it is correct, but, and if I, do get a few things a little bit misconstrued then you are more than welcome to leave some helpful comments down below and if anyone leaves a comment with a bunch of things that can help out then I will pin that to the top of the comment section below as well but the seat's getting hot <laughs> it's getting hot <laughs> right so everybody <laughs> everybody in class get your pairs of bread reimagined Air Jordan 4s out and we will go through all the pointers that I have in my notes here and we will compare and go through all the things that you will need to know on how to self-authenticate your pair in hand. Now just a few things before we start. My pair here was purchased directly from Nike through the sneakers app. So to all of you watching this video who purchased their pair through the secondary market, the aftermarket, then you can be happy and confident in knowing that you are comparing yours to a pair that came directly from Nike themselves. And now all of the factors that I will go through are specific for the Bread Reimagined pair. And all of these things that we are going to go through and check together, they fit into two separate chains where all of these factors that we're gonna look over and check in detail are going to be interlinked. So when we go through the first thing to check and then the second and so on, they should all follow each other so you can be as confident as possible <laughs> that your pair is authentic and then you can finally relax and have peace of mind. So first up we have SZ versus LN3 or LN4. Now the first question you're asking is, what does that even mean? So with some extensive research, I found that they are codes for the factories that the pairs are made in for Nike. And now class, <laughs> I want all of you to grab your pair and have a look at the size label inside the shoe itself. Right, now I want you to all avert your attention to the top right hand corner of this size label. And you should see either SZ or LN3 or LN4. Now. What does this all mean? If you have the letters SZ, then your pair was made specifically for retailers in Europe. And if you have LN3 or LN4, then your pairs were made for retailers in America. Okay, so we're all following along here. Yep, <laughs> we're all going good. So again, that's just the factories that the pairs were made for. We've got one side for Europe and one side for America. So if you are watching in America, then you want to follow the American side of this self-authentication chain. And then for everyone else in Europe, you'll be following the European chain that I was talking about earlier at the start of the video. And now we're going to the second thing to check. So everybody again, I want you to look very closely at the toe box of your pair. Look very, very close and compare it to what I'm holding in front of you all now. So my pair of Bread Reimagine Air Jordan 4s that I'm holding up to the camera right now are an SZ pair made for retailers in Europe. This was the pair that I got from Nike directly through the sneakers app. And look at this toe box, okay? Now look at yours and you may see a difference, okay? And this is where the chain starts. So if you have an SZ pair that was made for European retailers, then your toe box should sit a fair bit higher. As for LN3 and LN4 factory made pairs made for retailers in America, in comparison to my European pair from an SZ factory, your toe box should not be as high as this. It should slope down at more of an angle and it should look just that little bit sleeker. So again, 
if you compare your pairs to mine, it should line up with everything I just said, okay? <laughs> okay, so I hope we're all still following along now because this took quite a bit of research to find everything about this sneaker and how all of these factors interlink with each other and how certain things shouldn't overlap or fall into place with the wrong uh, factory made pairs, so. Oh, and keep in mind that my pair here is a UK 11 pair, which is an EU 46 or a US 12 men's size. So keep that in mind for when you're looking at this pair, that is the size, it's quite a big size, but it's telling enough. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, we will now move on to the third part to check for this sneaker and that would be the blue stamp. And now, everyone at home, lift up or completely remove the insole from your Bread Reimagined Air Jordan 4s, and you're either going to see a blue stamp of just random digits that are slightly blurry, or absolutely nothing. So, this is where the chain comes back into play. If the size label inside your shoe in the top right says SZ, then it's a Europe-made pair that should have quite the taller toe box. And for all European retailer pairs, they should have this blue stamp underneath the insole on the footbed. And this will be in both left and right shoes as well. And these all just look like slightly blurry numbers, digits, nothing really important or special to worry about, but you should see them there. Whereas if you have an American retail made pair in the LN3 or LN4 factories, again, with the more angled downwards toe box that is a lot sleeker than what you're looking at here, then from what I've read, you should not have a blue stamp underneath the insole on your footbed. Let's hope that is correct, but like I said at the start of the video, if anyone can debunk any of this what I'm saying, whether you're from America or you're from Europe, then please do go ahead and leave a very helpful and informative comment down below because anything and everything will help people to authenticate their pairs and be able to relax, to stop overthinking if their pair is real or fake. But I'm pretty confident that that is the case for that. And then a very simple thing to check. We have the padding here that you can see on the tongue as well as the ankle collar and it is quite the thick amount of padding in both the tongue and the ankle collar. So if your pair has quite the thin padded tongue and ankle collar, it's not looking that good for you, but it should have a decent amount of thickness to the padding. So go ahead and squeeze the tongue a little bit, squeeze the ankle collar. And if they feel like they've got somewhat of a substantial amount of padding in there, then that is how it should be for this pair. And yes, those would be the main key factors that I would check for authenticating your pair of Bread Reimagined Air Jordan 4s. Wherever you got it from, on the aftermarket, secondary market, specifically for this pair, you want to check all four of those things, and especially those first three in the chain on both the European side and the American side. And hopefully those points do interlink with each other, making sure that your chain is complete for whether your pair is an SZ pair made for Europe or has the factory code for LN3 or LN4 made for America. And again, if you need to go back through the video and pause at certain points and just to double check, triple check, even quadruple check to make sure all of those align with each other, then go ahead, feel free to rewind and replay the parts however many times you need to do because it's not something often that we check on pairs, but I thought it would be helpful to share all of that information with you at home if you needed the help with authenticating your pair. Now, I will quickly add two things about the box, which I know some people do find to be a thing that they want to authenticate alongside the shoe itself, as it is part of the whole ordeal. So you wanna make sure that everything checks out from the shoe and the box itself. So continuing with the chain, if you have a Europe made pair in the factory labeled SZ on the inside of the shoe label with the taller toe box as well as the blue stamp underneath the insole on the footbed. Then your box size label should look like this. It will have one numerical value on there, a unisex size. So for example, my pair here has a US 12 men's size, a UK 11 size and an EU size of 46. 
And in the UK and Europe, we go with the unisex sizing. So when you see, for example, again on mine, a UK 11 and EU 46, that means for both men and women. So don't be afraid if you just see one numerical size and value on there, that's for Europe. We don't always see that on our pairs, but on the odd occasion, that's what we get. And then as I've been doing, I'll bring an image up somewhere on the screen and compare the two labels for the American retail made pairs. Again, from the factories that are coded LN3 and LN4 on the size label inside the shoe itself with the more sloped toe box and no blue stamp under the insole on the footbed. Your box size label will have two numerical values on there for both the men's and women's sizing separated. I've seen a few people get a bit suspicious of the size labels on the box itself, but like I said at the start of this video, all of these points are specific to the bread reimagined Air Jordan 4s. So if you had any worries or confusion about that, then now you know. And now to conclude the class with one final thing to check in the box, I want you to all remove the lid of the box. I want you to take out the packaging and chuck it to the side. And I want you all to locate this round sticker on the side that has a green circle in it that says YCM. Now this sticker, simply put, helps keep moisture out of the box. It prevents mold from growing on your shoes, which is always great to see. It pretty much acts like a silica gel pack. And you're all looking at this sticker now wondering, what are we checking? Is it just the sticker itself, making sure it's there? Well, no, there's something really specific about this that I learned a couple of years ago that I check every single time I may get a pair from the aftermarket, secondary market. And it really does help me feel confident that the entire package from the shoe and box itself is authentic. So you want to hold the box up to a light and at a specific angle, you should be able to see some scorn lines underneath the YCM sticker. And these lines will be slightly angled as well. And these angled lines will be scorn underneath the sticker. They won't be cut through it. They won't be marked on top. It will always be underneath. And these lines will follow the whole circumference of the sticker. So you shouldn't see any of these lines cutting through past the sticker. I don't think Nike always put in a YCM sticker with pairs, but if they do, like we're seeing with the Bread Reimagined Air Jordan 4 pairs, then that is definitely something that you want to check because it will really help round out the entire checklist of self-authenticating your pair. And then of course you've got that little quality control OK sticker that has a number on. If you have that in there as well, that's good. Just another little extra sticker to check. And there you go. <laughs> there we have it. That is the How to Authenticate guide for the Bread Reimagined Air Jordan 4s. I hope that has been helpful to everyone around the world to check their pairs. Again, I know not everyone was lucky enough to get their pair from a retailer and like myself being able to get their pair directly from Nike through the sneakers app on either a shock drop or early access or a raffle. But I really do hope that this video helps anyone out there who was able to purchase their pair through the aftermarket, secondary market, wherever it may be and you're able to go through all the points that I've listed, the two chains that I have pretty much created to interlink all the points together to verify down the line to growing confidence that your pair is real. And hopefully this has been able to make a couple of people out there at the very least happier and confident that their pairs are real after checking all of those things. As even though this seat <laughs> is still a very hot seat, I'm in the hot seat from the start to the finish here. I don't think I'm gonna leave it until this video is finished. But like I said at the start of the video and in the middle, if anybody has any information out there that debunks anything I said or adds on to the list of checking things of your pairs to make sure that they're real, then please, do leave a comment down below. Be as helpful, as kind worded, as informative as you can. And I will like as many comments as I can. I will pin the top comment if there is one that is left down below that can help further authenticate your pairs if needed, as it would be lovely to see the community come together and help those few who weren't lucky enough to win their pair for the retail price and had to resort to the aftermarket to purchase their pairs and to lending out a helping hand to those who need further help with authenticating their pairs.
from whatever aftermarket place they got it from. So they can all have peace of mind. <laughs> Okay, my apple crumble has been done for quite a while now, so hopefully it's not too cold, but I'm gonna end the video here. I'm getting hungry for it. I've got ice cream as well. Oh. Oh, the Asian lactose intolerance is not gonna like that, but I have to, it's apple crumble. <laughs> and yeah, my first leap year recording, February 29th. It'll come around in four years again. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Oh, come on, apple crumble. I need it. <laughs> I can smell the apple crumble from here. <laughs>